What up everyone, this is gonna be a quick review on the Leech Submariner. I know you guys got places to go and people to meet so I'm not gonna ramble on for 10 minutes and get straight to the review. The Leech Submariner comes in a lizard scale texture box. I honestly really like their logo, it reminds me of those logos from Transformers. Anyways, let's take a look inside. This is a two-tone blue and gold diver watch. This pays homage to the Rolex Submariner and it retails for $70. It comes in weighing at 143 grams, diameter is 45 millimeters, case thickness is 13 millimeters, lug to lug is 47 millimeters, lug width is 20 millimeters. The dimensions are spot on compared to the Rolex Submariner, so that's a very good sign. The case is brushed with polishing on the sides. I like the two-tone blue and gold. I think that's a great color combination. This is a mineral glass and not sapphire crystal. It has a ceramic oyster style bezel. This is a unidirectional bezel with 60 clicks. The bezel feels smooth. No problem turning this even with my thick winter gloves. It has the crown guards and a golden screw down crown. It has Mercedes style hour hand. The date magnification on this is not that great but it's still legible. It's water resistant of up to 10 atmospheres or 100 meters, but I don't recommend going swimming with the cheap homage watch. Let's move on to the strap. The strap is completely brushed with a polished deployment clasp and a safety catch. It has 5 additional increments of micro adjustments with 2 half links as well, so that's a big plus over the Benier watch. One downside to the straps is at the ends, I noticed that they forgot to brush a tiny part of the strap so the texture doesn't look consistent. But overall, I like the look of this strap. The brush finish gives it a nice matte look so it doesn't look loud and the tapering on the strap gives it a nice silhouette. For the movement, this is an automatic movement. Just like the Benier watch, this is a generic no-name movement so you shouldn't expect too much out of it. But it works and I have no complaints. Probably not the most accurate movement but for $70, it's fine with me. First thing I noticed with this watch when I picked it up is that the wheel is loud. Listen to this. You can really hear it spin and not really a fan of all that noise it makes. For the loom, you'll see blue on the indices and a lighter tone of blue on the hour and minute hand. The loom on the indices doesn't look that great, it's very grainy and far from smooth. But the loom on the hour and minute hand is brighter and looks smoother so that's the important thing. Obviously the loom isn't going to last you very long so don't expect too much. So how does it fit? For reference, my wrist is 6 and 3 quarters inches and I think it looks great. It fits very well. The half links and micro adjustments really makes this watch a good fit for any wrist size. Here's a side view. One complaint I have is that the case is really straight so it creates these gaps between my wrist and the watch. But other than that, I think this is a great looking homage watch. My final verdict, this isn't a bad watch. Dimensions are pretty spot on and overall it does look like the Submariner but with a few minor differences and the price isn't that bad at only $70. So overall I'll give this watch a 7 out of 10. That's it for this week's video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Leech Submariner. I have an entire playlist of watch reviews right here, so check that out if you love watches. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.